constant acceleration motion, standard two. I can correctly interpret the meaning of the sign of an object's acceleration. Recall that acceleration is change in velocity divided by change in time. So let's work a sample calculation here and see if we can figure out the acceleration for the flash. He starts from a standstill and accelerates to 500 meters per second in one second. Change in velocity divided by change in time. That's an acceleration of 500 meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. That's a positive acceleration. Notice he's getting faster in this case. How about Wolverine? He accelerates from 10 meters to a second to stopping over a time of one second. In this case, he starts at a velocity of 10 and goes to a velocity of 0. So the acceleration in this case is negative. By the way, a negative acceleration like this one is something we might have called deceleration in a non-physics context. We don't use the word here. We'll always use negative acceleration. Another example. Let's look at this one more visually. Superman is moving with a positive velocity. We'll just define that as rightward. He's got an acceleration happening in the same direction. First of all, think what happens when you're moving in one direction and you are accelerated in that same direction. Superman, in this case, gets faster. His velocity is positive, and his acceleration is positive. Now remember, the definition for positive is just because they're moving to the right in this case. An object that's getting faster has a graph with an increasing slope. Another visual example for us, this time Batman. Batman's moving with a positive velocity, and he experiences a negative acceleration. What's going to happen to his velocity over time? He'll slow down. That acceleration is pulling at his velocity. It's slowing him down. It's a, it's a force acting in some way to slow him down. In this case, you have a positive velocity and a negative acceleration. That's going to act to slow you down. In this case, on this graph, here's how I can see that negative acceleration happening. From this point to this point, I can find the slope of that line. And then I can pick another two points in time and find the slope of the line between them. Do you notice that those two lines have a decreasing slope? and that by definition the slope of a position time graph is velocity. In other words, the velocity is getting smaller. Now what's Wonder Woman do? She's moving in the negative direction. She's got a negative velocity going on here and she's got an acceleration happening in the same direction. These two vectors are going in the same way so she's going to act to speed up. And in this case, a negative velocity, sorry, a negative velocity and her negative acceleration are going to act to create a function whose slope is getting larger. Finally, let's look at the last possible case here of uh, Aquaman. He's got a negative velocity going on, and he's got a positive acceleration. What is happening to his motion? Aquaman will slow down because velocity and acceleration are going in opposite ways. 
So we say in this case he has a negative velocity and a positive acceleration, which you can see on the graph because the slope of the function is getting smaller and he's slowing down. Eventually he comes to a stop at that point there, his velocity is zero. I've created for you a handy reference chart here to help you begin to see these differences. I highly recommend do not just memorize these. Look for the patterns. Understand the reasons why we have positive and negative accelerations. Thanks. That's all.